something on QVC and it came so I wanted to share with you what it is and do a little review of what I think of it. This is not an endorsement. It is not a an ad. This is not sponsored. This is straight up. What do I think of this that I saw on TV? Sometimes I get something really good and sometimes I'm just a sucker. I'm trying to balance. So this is actually a gardening tool. It is for putting. I have a pair of, I should have grabbed it just to show you, a large pair of long handled snippers for like, I don't know, half, half inch, inch size tree branches. And They do not want you to return this to the original package if you don't like it. Um, but they are, I don't know what the official name of them is, um, Ultimate Innovations. It is a pair of snippers. They are, these are ratcheting. So these are, they're heavy. They feel really sturdy. This button comes back and they unsnap and it is a ratcheting device. So I'm going to bring you in and we're going to cut. This is a tree stump that gets these branches around it and we're going to trim them down. And once again, I'm out here without my garden sleeves on. So we'll see how this works. And this is, I'm going to snip this one and then I'll bring you in. that without issue and that's my my thumb it's a, as big around as my thumb it does ratchet so I'm gonna do this up a little higher let's cut some of these leaves out of here I'm gonna cut some of this out of here so that you can see really well So right here, it's going to take three squeezes, one, two, three, and it snipped it right off. I'll try to show you from the other side. that you're looking at is Virginia creeper and this stuff is just coming up everywhere around our properties and I try to pull up as much as I can because its roots just go everywhere and it just makes more stuff that teeny tiny little mushroom.
lot of people find that they are allergic to the Virginia creeper. I have not yet had any issues with it, so I come out here with short sleeves on and just start pulling it off my trees and the sides of our sheds and stuff. I bring in I pulled this back and I have all these mushrooms growing up underneath this as well as we have this which is a disease on this plant I'll have to look up what it is again um, it shouldn't affect my other plants it's specific to what this leaf is so I haven't really tried to fight it off Trying to look closely for poison ivy that has shown up in our yard all of a sudden. The other thing that's made a mass appearance is all of this here is all like wild strawberries. You can kind of see one there. And oh my gosh, they are just everywhere. And it drives me absolutely insane because they are completely useless, taste horrible. They are all over my yard. I wish I would have had this on video. This started up at the stump. And I pulled the roots all the way out to my yard out here before it snapped. So I pulled all of that root out. That's that Virginia creeper. It was such a pain. So in a matter of about five minutes, I got this big pile out from underneath the stump. So I'm gonna take it out to the burn pile. And so it can be burned. Um, I feel about this. It's okay. I had to rasp it about three times. My hand did not get sore, which is what I was afraid of, is still having to just use my hands instead of my arms with the big snippers. But it worked great. I, like I said, I got it from the USA. I think it was supposed to be $19.99, but it was previously reported, so there was a different price. So I think it was about $24 for a pair of them. Um, so I did like them. It was worth it. I would, I would buy them again. Uh, but yeah, it made easy do of that. And this I can keep in my uh, little tool chest with my other little garden tools. Other than having to get the big ones out there, have to hang on the wall. So thanks for watching.